Alright, what's up YouTube? Um, this is just a tutorial on how to make iSatin icons or iCarbon, iCarbon Signature Rock Series, whatever. That theme in general made by Zouser, I don't know how to pronounce it. But this is from start to finish to get the original icon, what you want to do with it and everything. Okay. So basically plug in your iPod or computer, go to your computer, there's your storage devices and all that. I don't know why on Windows 7 your iPod won't show up there where you can get your saved photos, but open Win SCP3. If you're on Windows, click new, you know, log in. Your this is just your regular stuff, you know. You should know how to SSH by now. If you're gonna put in a custom theme to make icons, and then all you do is just go down to bar, mobile media DCIM 100 Apple it's all the screenshots you've taken on your iPod iPod or iPhone whatever all of them so like you know when you press the home button and the top button take a screenshot that's where it puts it you just click it drag it to your desktop and you're done close that because we're done and here's the icon we got there that's we'll be creating these two icons which is monkey ball 2 and labyrinth 2 okay first you need to open Photoshop, which I have here. And you get your main image. You just need to drag it in there. And it'll put it in a mode like this. You just grab it, drag it out. Um, create it to your liking size. I just put mine like that. Like that. Minimize it. I saw an icon. See this right here? I'll put that in the description. Drag it in. Pull it out over this one see I messed up a little bit but you know put it over this one now you, this is the next step make sure your gradient is set correctly if your gradients black to white which would be this one this first one here it needs to be black to transparent so you'll get that right fade on the bottom see how that fades out if you have it on the black to white it will come all the way down here and there's a lot of complaints about that about people not understanding but just go black to transparent and that'll basically be set the way you want it. You know, click it, click OK. Okay, so then you need to go to Window, click Actions, bring this up. And then you need a Window, and then get the History out. So it's like this. Okay. And so you click, basically you grab this, click this little tool up here, grab this, drag it on in here position it up and you should position it with the lines the little blue lines blue screen position that up and that's how you do it and then it should rename it layer one and when you're positioning it and you have this selected make sure it's selected to frame but anyway that's layer one make sure that's selected and then click I set it bam icon made right there nothing nothing left to do you know, file, save as, save it as a PSD or PNG file and just name it. And if you want to know the actual name of the file, basically what I would do is I would turn my iPod, take the theme off, and then turn every all themes off, and then you know, find the name of it, write that theme down, how it's written, change it to that .png, and then you're good to go. And then place it wherever your icons are stored in your SSH client. <clears throat> so to make a new one, all this stuff about not being able to clear the history, right? Click I satin right here. Just click that. Nothing will really happen when you click it, but it'll select that whole thing. Right click here, clear history. Bam. Okay, now you can start making a new icon. Which click that, drag this over, line that up, perfect. I satin. And we have a new icon again. Took all of ten seconds, maybe. I don't know. Seems pretty easy to me. But <laughs> I just realized I named the first one wrong. But you know, I'll change that around. PNG. Name it whatever it is. I'm obviously not going to use those names. And you're done. You've made the icons. Oh forgot that first part basically you'll also get the actions I'll put those up for download you'll just grab this drag it in and you'll 
just drag it in here, copy and paste, and then it'll come up in your Addison list. If yours doesn't look like this, you need to click on this little arrow, click button mode. Really need to click button mode. So much easier, button mode, bam, right like that. All right. So you know you can close Photoshop. No, you don't want to save that. Here's your two icons right here that you just created. You can open them up and look at them if you want, but you know they're good. You can delete this image right here, which is your image, your thing. Just delete it. That's your home screen, and you want to put them, you know, back in to your iPod. Depending on where you have them, you just gotta go win FCP3. You know, load up your stuff, which I don't know why I have not set this up yet to work on my and other new firmware I just haven't then you go to var stash themes mine will be in the signature rock and then icons and you just place them in there I've made maybe 30 icons for this so far it took me all five minutes I've made 30 there's a lot to come with it and you can download tools but that's that's how you do it that's how you put them in there everything it's I don't know of any other way, other way to do it, and it's on Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP with Adobe Photoshop CS4 Extended Edition. So, Jan's on you. Peace out.